Hey Sam, this is uh, how far I got on your conveyor so far. Um, if you kind of look this over, let me uh, take this around here. And it's actually in three dimensions. It's uh, uh, using Google SketchUp. So anyway, but uh, pretty much allows us to actually look at and see what it is. So if you look at where I've got the pointer here, you can't hardly see it very good, but uh, all the way around here, this is the 30 feet here. It sticks out three extra feet here. This is also 30 feet along this line. Here's your 18 foot, nine inch existing uh, conveyor, and then the two inclined conveyors. Little gap here, about three feet on one side, and then uh, three feet, four inch on the other one. And uh, then uh, I haven't, uh, these are just two 10 foot conveyors I put in there just for reference. Um, and then uh, I haven't completed this with the gate, but uh, Anyway, uh, with it being in three dimensions like this, then we can pretty much zoom in or out of anything we want. So, you know, if we want to see what the conveyor looks like up close, here it is. And I put uh, three people sort of in there as like, uh, uh, you know, here's what someone that's about five foot eight would look like in there. And uh, anyway, if you look, uh, I put these as 10 foot sections just because that's what I've got the most of. And uh, generally, you know, uh, if you're going to drive it, you might as well, you know, have the longest sections you have. These are on the floor. Uh, that puts it nine and a half inches uh, to the top, I think. And then uh, here's the curve section uh, that goes in there that's also line drive. Uh, you've got your uh, small item scale here, uh, your uh, existing ball transfer table. Uh, you've got your person. And then here's your existing conveyor go zoom out and uh, there's the other uh, scale that's going to have to be in there and okay so this is pretty much it right now so uh, anyway uh, so far that's uh, 30 feet here, 30 feet here, plus another uh, angle and a five foot section right there that you can see, uh, which I think I've got one of those. And then up here, uh, it's gonna probably be um, two 15 or 16 foot worth of conveyor here uh, together, and then we'll have to figure out how to merge them. Either we use uh, a stack of two or three uh, merges that go across and they can actually transfer it perpendicular or, um, uh, put a big, huge, um, uh, long kind of guide here uh, that will kind of force them together. So either way, we're going to have to turn these two on or off uh, in order to allow it to uh, merge the way it should. So we've got to figure that out. So uh, anyway, I just figured I'd tell you that uh, here's what we got so far. And um, that would be your conveyor line. At least as far as I know. So, oops.